thinning hair affects about 80% of women over the age of 40. What causes it? Why does it affect some women so much more than others? And what can you do to prevent or treat it? Well, that's what we're covering in today's video. Hi, I'm Dana Lavoie, an acupuncturist and herbalist with over 15 years of experience specializing in women's health and the founder of Menopause Basics. I help you learn how to use natural remedies to have happy hormones and feel great during and after menopause. And in today's video, you'll learn the six possible causes of hair loss, why it affects some women so much more than others, and what you can do to help prevent or reverse it. And as a little aside, there are about three types of hair loss that are common, and but one of them, one of them is the one that is so much more common among women over the age of 40 that affects almost that whole 80%. That's the one we're going to be talking about today. It's called telogen effluvium, as opposed to the other two types are male pattern baldness or alopecia. So today we're talking about that really common type of thinning hair uh, and what you can do about it. The six possible causes of the most common type of thinning hair in women over 40. Well, the first one is hormonal imbalance. The second one is stress, either acute or chronic everyday stress. The third is toxins. Are you exposed to a lot of toxins? Do you have a high toxic load? The next one is fungus. Do you have some kind of low grade or other fungal infection anywhere in your body? And then we have nutritional deficiencies. It can be difficult in today's world to get all the micronutrients that you need for your hair in your diet. We're gonna talk about what to do about it. And lack of sleep is number six. Okay, so those are the possible causes and we are going to talk much more about what you can do about them. Now, why does this hair loss affect some women so much more than others? Usually they either have one of those six causes we listed above to a se severe degree, or they have multiple causes going on. Like if you've got a bit of nutritional deficiency and you've got a bit of stress and you're not sleeping enough, right? So if you've just got a little bit of a lot of those six causes, that can do it as well. Now, what can you do to help try and prevent or reverse this thinning hair? Well, most of the six causes we talked about above can be dealt with, can be improved just with diet or lifestyle changes. So it's not just one pill, super quick fixed, but it is doable. I recommend that you start by correcting as many of the above causes as you can, just doing it naturally, because not only is it great, gonna be great for your hair, it's gonna be great for your overall health and hormone balance. And I find that you can do this by using a combination of the right diet, the right lifestyle, the right supplements, herbs. Now, of course, I'm a Chinese herb herbalist. I'm a huge fan of Chinese herbs, and they can be amazing for this. Essential oils can be a great tool. Reducing your toxic load and your exposure to toxins and chemicals that can damage your hair growth is, is great as well. Taking care of your immune system is really important and I'm gonna show you a number of ways to do this because really it's one of the best ways to help your body stay strong against any type of fungal infection and getting enough sleep. And of course, during menopause, this can be a challenge. So of course, I'm gonna help you out with that as well. In future videos in this series, I am gonna show you how to make a plan that includes addressing each of the six causes, and then I'm gonna have videos on each one, how you can do each one so you can fill in that plan. So you're gonna end up with a complete plan for covering as many bases as you can easily, safely, and naturally uh, to take care of your hair. Keep it thick and healthy. If you're not just preventing hair loss, but you're actually dealing with some hair loss, there's also a little bit of testing that I recommend you talk to your doctor about doing. And one is testing for your thyroid, because with the more serious cases of thinning hair, there's definitely a possibility that there's something going on with your thyroid that is causing it. That's one of the types of hormonal imbalance that commonly causes thinning hair. And the other thing that you can talk to your doctor about checking is your iron levels, including ferritin. 
This is also really important for your hair. So to review, this type of thinning hair and hair loss is really, really common. It affects about 80% of women by the age of 60. The best thing that you can do about it is to focus on eliminating as many of the six causes of it as you can. Get each one just the best that you can uh, and consider talking to your doctor about maybe doing a little bit of testing for your thyroid and your iron as well. I'm Dana Lavoie, an acupuncturist and herbalist and founder of Menopause Basics, and thank you so much for spending some time here with me today and watching the video. I can't wait to see you again in the next videos in this series. Series In the next videos in this series, we are going to go in depth into what you can do specifically to address each possible cause of thinning hair. I'll see you soon.